Children love video games. They can spend hours playing every day, and it is always so hard to pull them away from the screen. People say video games are even good for children. They can teach them better motor skills and reduce reaction times. But are all video games great? In this video, we'll dive into what you need to be looking out for when letting your children play video games. We'll also point out some that need a little bit more attention from us as parents. Before we do that, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more parenting videos like this. Video games have always been popular with people across all ages. Nowadays, you can even play video games on your smartphones, tablets, computers, consoles, and smart TVs. And it's not just a boys thing. Studies show that on average, girls spend at least an hour a day playing video games, while boys spend more than two hours. And as kids grow up, the time they spend on video games also grows. In moderation, playing video games can be great for children. They can promote learning, problem solving, or teamwork depending on the nature of each game. Having said so, the content of the video games is what one has to be mindful of. Many popular games promote negative behaviors, such as the killing of people or animals, drugs and alcohol abuse, criminal behavior, sexual exploitation towards women, racial, sexual and gender stereotypes, and also foul language and obscene gestures. So what are the criteria to look out for while choosing age-appropriate video games? Here are some questions to ponder on. Does the game engage your child to think, explore, and experiment? Does it attract your child's attention but is not too overwhelming? Does it help your child create meaning about the world around them? If you're wondering just what age is the right age to expose them to what sort of video games, there's actually some help available. To make things easier, all video games are rated and labeled by the Entertainment Software Rating Board (ESRB). The content descriptors in the ESRB ratings will identify the negative themes featured in the game, which provides a guideline to choose video games based on the child's age and maturity. Having said that, we're going to point out 10 video games currently on the market that we feel that we should really keep away from young minds. Number 10. Silent Hill The ESRB rated Silent Hill Book of Memories as Mature 17 Plus for its content which includes blood and gore, vulgarity, suggestive themes, and violence. In this game, Players explore different zones in a nightmare world, battling demonic creatures using axes, shotguns, flamethrowers, and chainsaws. Large splashes of blood and scattered body parts can be seen in the scenes, and enemies leave blood-like puddles when killed. One cutscene even depicts a man getting torn in half. Hey, it's not called Nightmare World for nothing. If you value your sleep at night and don't want your kids waking up screaming remembering these scenes, it's definitely best to stay away. Number 9. Gears of War 4 What can one relate to when there's a war? Well, violence and gore, that's what. Gears of War 4 features extreme violence and profanity throughout the entire game. The player may be cutting their enemies in half with blood splattering everywhere or the enemy's head may explode when given a headshot. Players may also tear their opponents to shreds or dismember their limbs with miniguns. Ugh, not exactly kids material. Number 8. God of War The ESRB rated God of War as Mature 17+. Plus. It is only suitable for teenagers 17 years old and above, as the game contains intense violence, blood and gore, as well as strong language such as vulgar words you don't want your kids picking up. There are plenty of fighting scenes including body combat and the use of weapons. Violence is more intense when it comes to larger enemies and bosses such as slashing and stabbing a dragon's tongue, also hooking and tearing off an ogre's jaw. 
Sure, dragons and ogres may not really exist, but you don't want your kids learning such violent behavior either. Number 7. Call of Duty – Ghosts Call of Duty is rated Mature 17 Plus by ESRB, with its content having blood, drug references, intense violence, and strong language. Players engage in battles using a variety of firearms and perform close-up attacks like neck stabbings or headshots. Realistic gunfire, screams, and explosions are the norm in these battles. Large blood splatter effects and blood stains on the ground are also very common in the game. For character customization, a few emblems that players can choose from are even suggestive of marijuana. Call of Duty is a very popular game indeed, but maybe not just yet for your kids. Number 6. Star Wars Jedi This game has received a PEGI 16 rating, which means it's only suitable for players above 16 years old as it features strong violence. The game features frequent battles between the player and their opponents. While blood or wounds are not really featured, it does show very realistic images of a hand being dismembered from one of the characters. Maybe the stuff for Nightmares too? Number 5. Need for Speed Need for Speed may be an interesting car racing game, but it does contain some bad language. Not only that, players can download skins that other players have created, and some may contain inappropriate content. One even had cannabis leaves. And if you're not ready to expose your kids to that, maybe leave this game out. Number 4. The Sims I know, it sounds silly. I mean, isn't The Sims just about creating virtual family and friends? The ESRB, however, rates The Sims 4 as T for teen, as it contains crude humor, sexual themes, and violence. Sims have the ability to kiss, hug, or have sex with another sim. This action depicts the sims squirming, giggling, and moaning under the covers until hearts float around the bed in their attempts to make babies. Sims will sometimes fight, and they can also die from electrocution or fire. At what age should children be exposed to sex and death? Maybe when they're teenagers, but definitely not yet. Number 3. Fat Princess Fat Princess is a game that prides itself on body shaming women. It promotes stereotypes towards overweight ladies. And your kids will probably end up laughing at the fat princess just because of her body size. Children should be encouraged to embrace beauty that comes in different forms and sizes. So this unhealthy attitude towards body image is why they shouldn't be playing this game. Number 2. Super Mario Super Mario? Why? Super Mario might seem to be a really family-friendly game since like 1985, but the idea of killing animals makes it somewhat questionable. Is animal killing a good idea to introduce to your children, even in pixels? Number 1. Minecraft why is Minecraft even on this list, you may wonder? Yes, Minecraft does promote creativity and problem solving, but burning animals with no consequence? Uh, animal cruelty is definitely not something to instill in your kids. And there you have it, 10 games we think our kids should avoid at their age due to all the negative content they contain. But of course, there are video games that definitely have their fair share of benefits too. So let's shift the focus to how. How can we as parents help our children benefit from video games? Parental involvement is the key. As mentioned earlier, the ESRB rating acts as a guide to help you choose age-appropriate video games for your children. You can also look into the themes and check out reviews of every game before introducing them to your children. Next, setting clear rules about playtime is crucial to avoid excessive playing. Expectations can be set so that video games can only be played after completing homework and chores. Experts also suggest enforcing a limited hour of screen time per day. And if you parents are gamers too, remember to set a good role model for your children. Don't lose yourself in gaming. In terms of monitoring their playing, you can always play video games with your kids and talk about the content together. 
Allowing video games to be played only in public areas of the home also helps, so you can make sure they're not seeing anything they shouldn't. Warning your kids about potential dangers while playing online games is essential too. Remember, moderation is always the best approach. Encouraging your children to participate in other activities, be it physical or social activities, can help promote a healthy and active lifestyle. With this, parents can have a peace of mind helping their children to make informed choices of the genres of video games they play and practice healthy gaming habits. If you feel that this video has helped you in one way or another, do share it so fellow parents get to know this important information as well. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel because we will be launching new informative parenting videos every week. See you next time.